In a recent interview with Collider, Black Panther Wakanda Forever actor and star Winston Duke, aka M. Baku, decided to respond to the whole allegation of his character being a villain, which he's constantly labeled as, and he explains why exactly it's not as clear-cut and villain labels are kind of stupid, even when it comes to Marvel Studios. So we all agree M. Baku isn't a villain, right? Like after Black Panther, he literally stood side by side with the King of Wakanda and defended Wakanda on the front lines. Yeah, he's definitely not a villain. Again, an antagonist, sure, but not a full on villain. So yeah, speaking with Collider, he said, Marvel villains aren't villains. There's more complexity to them. It's very rare that a villain is just a clear cut villain with evil intent. Now again, right here, he's obviously referencing characters like Red Skull. Red Skull was a pure villain, right? But then again, there's a time and place for that. Ultron, for example, a villain. And again, he was built off of what he saw in society and the AI. So again, a clear cut villain. But I always argue this as well. I don't see most villains as villains if they're handled well. People constantly say Dr. Doom is a villain. He's not. You gotta look at his point of view and what he's trying to do and why he's justifying it. And his nature is villainous, but again, there's more to it. Magneto is labeled a villain all the time, but even the X-Men have now kind of looked at him and went, you know what, he was kind of right. Yeah, no, he's not really a villain. His way just makes sense for what he's seen and done. Again, that's the best types of villains in my opinion. So he says that, yeah, you got the Avengers there and then you got the villains, but who's to say that most of them are villains instead of just complex characters? And when they bring a Kevin Feige, he laughs because again, you know, Feige tells you it's a villain. But I agree with him. Not everybody is a villain. I mean, if that's the case, then Loki technically is still a villain, right? Even though he's had two redemption arcs and two different things, three if you count some other things that have gone on, but again, his motives can always be questioned because it's Loki. So that's always out there, and I agree with this. It's not always about being a clear-cut evil villain. Even Baron Zemo had a reason for what he did, and from some people's point of view, you can go, I get it. And that's the best type of villain. So when you look at Namor, villain, yeah. But really a villain, you could argue, no. I mean, in the comics, definitely not. He's got his point of view. Same thing with countless other ones in DC as well. 